Whether you're selling devices, accessories, or want to keep track of repair parts, having a well-organized inventory system is essential. In this video, we'll guide you on how to efficiently manage your inventory in RepairDesk. To manage your products or repair parts inventory, click on Manage Inventory and then select Products. You can also see relevant insights about the stock at the top. The inventory listing provides a comprehensive view of all your products, allowing for real-time access and efficient management. To make searching easier, you can apply relevant filters. You can also create a filter view to group the inventory. If you want to group and create a filter for all Apple iPhone screens, you can apply the relevant filters. Now, click on the Save Filter. Then enter the view name as Apple iPhone Screens. Choose the icon and hit Save. You can also customize the listing layout by selecting which columns to show and using drag and drop to rearrange them. You can update most product information directly on this page. If you need to edit a product name or price, click on the respective field and make your changes instantly. For stock level updates, navigate to the on hand section. Here, you can adjust quantities by adding an inventory adjustment. To increase a product's stock level, select Increase Quantity, enter the adjustment amount and cost price, and add a note. Review the details before posting to ensure your stock levels are accurate. If you would like to add a new product, click on Add Product. You can import product details directly from supported vendors. Search for a product by name or SKU, and the system will automatically populate its real-time details. You can update or fill in the rest of the essential information to quickly add a product or part to your inventory. To add a product manually, enter the product's name, category, manufacturer, and device model. You can also assign a stock keeping unit or universal product code for unique product identification and to print the barcode. If a product comes already barcoded, place your mouse cursor inside the SKU or UPC field and use the barcode scanner to scan the barcode. You can upload an image for easy identification and add a product's short description. Internal notes can be added for any information relevant to your team. Next, you can add additional details to specify details such as warranty, condition, and the physical location of the product within your store. In the Stock section, you can enter the available stock in the On Hand Stock section. You can also set a stock warning threshold, which triggers an alert when stock is low and a minimum quantity to prompt reordering from suppliers to maintain minimum stock levels. You can select a supplier and choose a valuation method, weighted average cost, first in first out, or last in first out, based on your accounting needs. Most of our merchants use the weighted average cost method. However, for more information on inventory valuation methods, please visit our Help Center. Next, head over to Pricing and Tax to set the unit cost, which is your purchase price per product, and the retail price, which is the selling price. You can also use the Markup section to automatically calculate the retail price based on the cost and your desired markup percentage. If you're running a promotion, you can set a promotional price and duration. Additionally, you can set a minimum price, which acts as the lowest possible selling price. If you scroll down the page, you can also configure commissions as either a percentage or a fixed amount 
for your staff. Customer group pricing can also be configured to offer special prices to specific customer groups. Once all your details are finalized, click Save on the top right. If you operate multiple stores, you can sync the same product across selected locations. This process adds a new inventory product with its available stock to your system. You can navigate to any section using the sidebar and rearrange the sections using drag and drop. If you're using WooCommerce or our Shopify integration, you can choose to sync your inventory with your online store so your inventory levels stay updated whenever a product stock is updated. You can enable this from the Quick Settings section. To print a barcode label for a specific product, click the three dots action and then select Print Label. For printing multiple labels, select the desired products, click the Bulk Actions button and choose Print Labels. To track the complete history of a specific inventory product, click on the product and navigate to the History section. That's everything you need to know to get started with managing your inventory in RepairDesk. We hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at Thank you for watching. Have a great day.